The next call is from uh, Portola Hills, California. Dave is on the line. Hi, Dave. Hey there. How you doing? Leo? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing okie dokie. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> okie dokie's pretty darn good. <laughs> what can I? It doesn't sound like you're okie dokie from the what you told uh, Heather. What, what's going on? Yeah, I I was going to go online to check a, a license for a check a state license for it. So I typed in the heading cslb.gov, clicked on that, and then um, a screen came up with uh, a bunch of writing in it, which I didn't remember. But there was also a recording that said you may be infected with malware. Ah. And uh, you should call this phone number in order to get it squared away. No! <laughs> so I uh, tried to close the window. Nothing happened. And I just ended up uh, rebooting the system. Nothing bad. Yeah, and you're good and you're golden and you're, you're happy. Well, I'm afraid to go do online banking or well, I don't blame you. shopping or any of that stuff. I don't want to do any um, passwords and stuff like that there. We've seen what, so much. Know? This is the last, you're the third call in, two, in, in, in a week uh, with this kind of stuff. It is very, so first of all, uh, if you mistype a, uh, a website, if you go to Goggle instead of Google, uh, if you go to Tech Guy Lob instead of Tech Guy Labs, you almost always will get a malware site because these bad guys just register names that are close to, uh, that are common misspellings or typos for well-known sites, and then they put stuff on that site. Now, there's two categories of things they can put on the sites. One is fairly harmless, and I'm hoping and I'm thinking this is what happened to you. And that is what we were talking about earlier in the show, just some JavaScript code, some some web code that isn't going to impact your computer. It's not going to cause any problems, but it's going to scare you. It's going to it's easy, for instance, for a website to pop up a window and say, oh, you've been infected by malware. That's bogus. And you knew it because it gave you an 800 number and they asked for money. It's bogus. So you you were smart. Just turn off the computer or shut down the browser. That'll go away. Don't go back there. Did, did you go to the... Are you sure you went to the right site for the contractor's license board? Um, well, I do it pretty regularly. And unless I mistyped something, I, I did cslb.gov. C-S-L-B? Yeah, for contractor state license board. C-S-L-B.gov. Let me just go there myself right now. See, I'm getting this web page is not available. Really? CSLB, as in boy, contract state license board dot GOV. Huh. Yep. Well, anyway, I might be mistyping it myself. Contractor's <laughs> state. Let me Google the contractor state license board and see. Ah, CSLB dot CA dot gov. Okay. Did you type the CA? I did not. Uh huh. But I've done it before, and it would come up with a drop-down list, you know, and then I'd click on it. So yeah, my suspicion is, yeah, if I go to that ca.gov for California.gov, I get it. Okay. Uh, when I went to cslb.gov, I got nothing, which was possibly a bad site that got taken down, because that's what happens with these malware sites is law enforcement, Google, and others go after them. Okay. Um, so... Most benign situation, most benign case, it was just some JavaScript popped something up, hoping you'd fall for it, case right, over. Because yeah, JavaScript, yeah, JavaScript doesn't invade your computer. Now, and these are important questions. Are you keeping your computer up to date? Yes. So you, this is why you want to install, for instance, Microsoft did what they call an out-of-cycle patch earlier this week. Normally, Microsoft patches on the second Tuesday of every month. They did an emergency patch for Internet Explorer for all versions of Windows this week, on Tuesday of this week, because it was such a heinous problem that every version of Windows was vulnerable to and the bad guys were taking advantage of. It was called, a, what we call it a zero-day exploit. There's zero days between the time the flaw is discovered and the time the bad guys start to exploit it. And so Microsoft, whoo! immediately put out a patch but if you're up if you're patching those patches whenever you get them you're making sure what browser do you use uh seven windows seven okay so you're using internet explorer oh uh, uh, i'm sorry uh, chrome see good chrome and firefox both update automatically without any notice to you 
uh, it's a good idea to close Chrome and, and Firefox periodically because they have to be restarted to update. But if you do about Chrome, you'll see if you're up to date. Chrome okay. is much safer, by the way, than Internet Explorer. Uh, yeah, so I you're, got rid of that a while ago. Yeah, you're smart to be using Chrome. Um, but then there's other things that can sometimes be taken advantage of if there's a flaw in the operating system. That's why Microsoft patches those regularly. If yeah. if a, a bad site, let's say I said, eh, I'm going to do CSLB.gov, see who I get. Uh, and, and I make a bad site. What I'll do is I'll buy a kit of exploits. They're for sale on the Internet for as little as $50 that might have hundreds of different little scripts on there to bang on operating systems to find a hole. And, it, and then if they find, you know, if they don't find it, no, nothing happens. If they find it, then they can sometimes take advantage of that and put bad stuff on your computer. But if you're keeping your operating system up to date, your browser up to date, anything that goes online up to date, your Adobe Reader, for instance. Adobe is, has been a lately a, a, a source of real problems. Adobe Flash. That's why I like Chrome, because Chrome automatically updates Flash. Um <laughs> Anything that goes on the online can be potentially taken advantage of. Um, but if you've been very good as, at updating, which sounds like you have, then it's highly unlikely anything infected your computer. Okay, so um, I'm not at the computer now, but when I get home, I should just double-check, go into About Chrome and make sure that I've got... Make sure it's up to date and do that periodically anyway. The other thing I would do on Windows is Microsoft, uh, first of all, the good news is uh, Microsoft now has, on Windows 10 and Windows 8, ships an antivirus. It's built in. It's called Defender. On Windows 7, you can download Security Essentials. That's all you really need. problem with antivirus is these zero-day exploits. They can't get updated fast enough to protect you because these things happen so fast. So Microsoft also has something called a malicious software removal tool. They update that every month. You don't see it. It's hidden. But it's not a bad idea if you if you think maybe I got infected. You hit Windows R, the Windows key and R, that opens a run box and type M R T. And there's no there's no icon, there's no menu item. I don't know why Microsoft hides this program, but they do. Type M R T and that'll run it and then do a thorough scan and that'll give you some some semblance of confidence that you didn't get infected. There's always the risk, and you know, I mean the prudent thing any security expert would tell you is if you think you might be infected, uh -huh. you should format and reinstall Windows. I don't think you were. I think you got a very common JavaScript pop-up. Those are harmless. Okay. Well, I feel a bunch better, and I'll uh, check Good. on these things. And now you know why you update all the time. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.